Well, I guess this is it, Epic. This is it, right? I mean, this is that one game, that one piece of software that every PC gamer wants, and I have a feeling pretty much everyone's going to give in and now have to download your launcher if these rumors are in fact true. But first, today's video is brought to you by LevelGo.com, where you could save money on games for all of your favorite platforms, as well as software like Windows 10 Pro for under $16, Microsoft Office 2016 for $40, and Microsoft Office 2019 Professional Plus for under $80. And if you use my code PTL20 at checkout, you'll get 20% off of Windows 10 Pro, or you can use the code PTL15 to get 15% off of the entire website when you use the links down in the description below. So in case you haven't figured it out by now, by the title of this video, as well as the thumbnail, it has been rumored that Red Dead Redemption 2 will be announced for the PC on April 22nd. And not only that, it will be coming on July 9th. So that wouldn't be too much further away that we would have to wait for this game to come out. However, it looks like it is going to be an Epic Store exclusive, which I know we all the PC gamers around the world just let out their collective, ugh, because who wants this game to be an Epic Store exclusive? Now, before we get into any more of these details, it needs to be said that this is just a rumor, it's a leak, so take it with a grain of salt. However, to give this leak and rumor a little bit of credibility. The leaker for this was the same person that was responsible just a few days ago for the Borderlands 3 leak that said when that game would be coming out and also the fact that that would be an Epic Store exclusive and he was 100% right about every single thing in that leak. And this is the same person here today leaking this over on 4chan and saying that, you know, what I said before, Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to be announced on the 22nd of April, so we wouldn't have much longer to go for an announcement, and that it would be released on July 9th as an Epic Store exclusive. Now, not only would it be an Epic Store exclusive, but it's not even a timed exclusive. This would be 100% released on the Epic Store only. Uh, and really, the only thing I can hope for is that maybe it'll be released on the Rockstar website as well. Um, you know, maybe it's not a third party, um, you know, store or something like that. So it's a possibility GTA 5 was available on the Rockstar website. You could download it from there through the Rockstar launcher. Uh, so hopefully that is the case here as well. But um, yeah, it just sounds like they are throwing a ton of money at them and giving them a bunch of incentives. So let's go ahead and just, you know, read the leak here so you guys have all the information. It says, howdy partners, it's me again, famous 4 4chan leaker. So I got some great news and not so great news. Red Dead Redemption 2 will be announced for PC on the 22nd of April at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It will be releasing July July 9th, 2019, and the bad news is that it will be exclusive to the Epic Game Store. It will not get a Steam release. This is not a timed exclusive deal. The reason being is Take-Two made a deal with Epic allowing Take-Two to take full profit on DLC released for the game, and Valve currently takes 30% profit for any in-game purchases. So that would be a massive incentive for them to make this an Epic Game Store exclusive. If you think about they literally made billions of dollars in in microtransaction sales in GTA 5, and I imagine they're hoping to do the same again with Red Dead Redemption 2. And even though a portion of that was only a portion of that was from Steam and the rest on consoles as well, um, I mean it was still probably in the tens or hundreds of millions of dollars from Steam in-game purchases through microtransactions, shark cards, and things like that. So imagine having to give over 30% of that money to Valve, and now you get 100% of that. Obviously, you know, the Epic Store is still going to get their cut of it, of, of regular game sales, which is still... Uh, smaller than what Valve takes, but the fact that they're also getting all the money from the mi microtransactions over to Rockstar, or Take-Two, I should say, who's the publisher, um, that is a massive incentive for the, for this. And Take-Two, um, for not if you're not familiar, is the parent company of Rockstar, and that's the same parent company of 2K, which is the publisher behind Gearbox for Borderlands 3. So Borderlands 3 is an epic exclusive, as they are, you know, basically under the umbrella of take two and rockstar is in the same boat so it would make perfect sense if they decided to do this if they've already made the move once with borderlands 3 why wouldn't they do it with red red dead redemption 2 especially when they're getting such a massive financial incentive from epic to do so 
Now, I know we all hate the Epic Store. I mean, I hate it. I just hate the fact of, look, I've said this so many times before about how much functionality is lacking on the Epic Game Store. It really isn't the fact that I just have to open another launcher. I really don't care at this point. I mean, like, um, if I click on my start button, like, literally half of the icons in there are just for game launchers. So I don't care that it's just having to open up another launcher and splitting up my library. I've... It, it was annoying, like, the first time it happened, like, with, like, you play or Origin, but it's just become so commonplace now that I really don't care about that. It's just the their anti-competitive practices and the functions that it's lacking. In case you missed it, about a week or two ago, they, Epic actually published a roadmap of patches that are going to be coming to this, and this should give you a good idea of just how many features are still missing and how far out they are for the Epic Game Store. So taking a look at this... Uh, in the next one to three months, they're expected to get things like cloud saves, but looking beyond that, even like, like four to six months, they're still that far out from having things like user reviews, wish list, uh, playtime tracking, so you can see how much time you actually have in the game, um, improvements to the library, which I think it definitely needs, as it's, it's a hot mess right now, and mod support for games. And then beyond six months, that is when they will finally add in a shopping cart, because right now you can only buy one single item at a time, and if you want anything beyond that, then you know what? You have to buy them each one at a time. It's ridiculous. And that won't be available for another six months plus. And then they don't even have a determined date for things like gifting games or having Arabic store translation. So pretty much excluding a massive amount of people from being able to buy in your store. It's just, yeah, the Epic Store right now is a complete and utter pile of shit. And the fact that it's also, um, you know, being backed by Tencent is another reason to really uh, kind of go against the Epic Game Store. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on this. Um, as I said at the start, this is just a rumor, but the leaker behind this has a pretty has a good track record with the Borderlands 3 leaks and stuff. So he just might know something. And as I said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I know... Red Dead Redemption 2, it's like, I, I don't care what it comes out on, I'm going to get it on the PC anyway, even though I already played it on the PS4, I beat it, and I've about 70% of the way through a second playthrough. However, I will definitely pick this up on the Epic Store, because it's just that good of a game, and I hate having to, you know, support that platform, but I just think that that's going to be the case, and I think if I think you're lying to yourself if you say you're not going to support them and pick up this game, because... Who's not going to play? want to play this game on the PC once it comes out? I know I certainly will. And uh, yeah, it just it just kind of sucks that we are in this place right now. I just I really just wish Steam and Valve would just kind of pull the finger out already and see, you know, what's happening. I'm sure, I mean, they know what's happening, but respond to it. Like, you're losing all of these major releases over to the Epic Store. You know, why not just give developers a larger cut of the pie? That's really, it seems like, all they want. That's, like, the major incentive for them going over to the Epic Store is that they get more money of what they earned. You're just a storefront. It doesn't really make sense for them to take 30%. It's a, it's a massive percentage that they're taking for that storefront, and it's ridiculous. It's I don't think we've seen that, like, at any other storefront in any other medium ever. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and enjoy the rest of my week, and I hope you guys do the same. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on it and subscribe if you're not already. And if you have been here for a while, go ahead and ring the notification bell. That way you never miss a moment of content as soon as it goes up live on the channel. And I'll see you guys next time for another video. Ta-ra.